Are you a UT guy because you're from Tennessee? Uh, or? I I'm not. No, I'm not a Balls fan. He is from Knoxville though. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Memphis, so Memphis Tigers, oh, Memphis Grizzlies. Did I just step in it right off the bat? Oh, that's all right. You're a Paxton Lynch guy? I am a Paxton Lynch guy. How about Penny coming back, right? I I think that was so good for the city. I think it was such a cool thing. He's also a big kind of pillar in the community because he uh, coached AAU basketball forever, still does, right. up until this year, Yeah, obviously. So it's really cool. I just saw him the other night. At, uh, we have like a, a minor league kind of – UFC thing mm -hmm. like a, a called V3 promotions yes. and uh, he was at the fights the other night so I saw him. So you you go up to Penny Hardaway and you're like just hey how you doing? Yeah we know we, we okay. like I don't I've never been over his house to dinner we know each other's name. Well not yet. Yeah but invite me over Penny. Come on Which Penny Hardaway. Like? Come on Penny. Come on now. He lives not far from me. Get yet. Zach Myers over there. He's got to come over to your house. Well because that is pretty cool. Well, you were hanging out with Dana White the other day. I was hanging. That was the same same day. All right, now yeah. let's drop names. This no, is, no no no. I, I don't know Dana White. I just met him. That was the first time I ever met him. He was very nice though. Well he knows how to promote. That's for damn he sure. Is, he is. He. He. You could consider him the He's, upper class of promoter. My God, yeah. he, he sure is. He's pretty good at that. So, are you? Are you an MMA? Are either one of you guys MMA people, or not really? Or? Yeah, we. Okay. I know the whole band as a whole will kind of watch it when it's on, especially when the bigger fights are on. Right. I'll watch it. Um. I don't. It's. It's not something I keep up with, but I definitely watch it when it's on. It's. I was a bigger that, fan of the Mayweather and the uh, notorious yeah. Mr. Right. McGregor yeah. when that happened. So you checked you that were out, all follow Yeah, he was following that I from was, the beginning. I yeah. was just finally in one of those situations where I felt like I was going to see history. And, uh, and then what did you see? I mean, we saw history. I mean, he's undefeated <laughs> still. You know. It's history in another way, I guess. I guess. No, but so you were you were locked in on that. I was just because I, I, I just felt like both of those guys had um, – the cajones to to do it, yeah. You know, I mean, as you watch the fight too, you could see McGregor, you know, still trying to kick him and stuff like that. You definitely and the saw his like leg him. kind of twitching. He's like, a you can't bit. do that, right. you know. So, what would you, Brent, call your? What would be your McGregor move? And by that, I mean where you would step out of what your normal wheelhouse is to perform other music. What would that be? Everybody wants me to do like. A country record because I'm from Tennessee, such or a have good, the band such do. Such a good question. Yeah, or have the band do a country record. So that would kind of be outside of my box. So that would be basically for you going in the octagon into the square room. Yeah, it would a little bit because I'm a fan of. I I appreciate all styles of music. That's that's I genuinely do. Sure. But when I think of country music, I mean some of the new school stuff. I just I wouldn't gravitate towards it. I mean I think about Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn. You know, Willie Nelson's still going very, very strong. But, you know, just because I'm from Tennessee doesn't, n you know, necessarily mean that I know how to sing a country song. <laughs> I think you'd do great. I don't so know. I think you'd I'm rock and roll to the bone. Would you do something like that then? I'll never say never, you know. As long as I can. We're still you young. Know, yeah. Relatively. You guys are relatively young. Relatively you young. You guys are. So what would yours be then, Zach, if you stepped out of the. Uh... I don't know if I have one musically. No? I'm, I'm kind of into everything. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know if I would. Would you, well, you wouldn't do, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not going to go and do, like, big band. I wouldn't do that. There you go. Maybe, like, a big band orchestra thing. Like a little Sinatra? You yeah, would bang I don't out think some I, would, Sinatra? I would love it, but I don't, I don't know if I could necessarily pull it off. Well, that, that would be, that's my wheelhouse. Is That's my karaoke go-to. Is like, Frank Sinatra. Damn like, straight right, is. Oh, that's good. That's it. What's your song? What's your karaoke song? That's Life. That's great. That's, that's a, a fantastic one. Is that song. the only one? Are you no. the guy that chose it? You got the one no, song? No, no, no. I've got, I've got, here's what I've got. This is my karaoke right. go-to. Uh, and these guys have seen me do it. So you can back my play here okay, with Shine Down here. Okay, I'm excited about this. All right. Uh, Frank Sinatra, That's Life. Okay. I'm from Staten Island so and a Yankee fan. So New York, New York. Yankee okay. fan okay. as oh, well. Okay, there you go. High five. I did, so how does, a, how does a Memphis guy become didn't a know We didn't fan? have a baseball team. Got it. And that was really one of the only teams that was on like you know the the, the so the, the, the four years, channels. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you early tour years. Yeah. Okay. So you got in while the getting was. Yeah, yeah. It was, good. It was great. He was born uh, in the eighties. This, this good. This year. Uh, but this, no, I this year too. Yeah. Okay. And there's no wood. You knock on whatever. Good. Okay. Um, so it's uh, New York, New York. That's life. Um, and then uh, also my way. Yeah. But my my fl my finish to my way. Uh, and I've done this. Elvis, my way or no? Sinatra, no, 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 no. Okay. It's all Sinatra. I'm from Memphis. I have to. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no disrespect right. by my response. I'm from New York. That's <laughs> yeah, my response. So. I take the microphone, Zach, and I slam it down and walk out <laughs> I like love a that. stanza. Where are we going tonight? 
Oh God! I gotta say, I, gotta, I have to see this. <laughs> okay. We can make this happen. Uh, we know exactly think, where to make I, something I like think, this happen. You know, I've done karaoke one time in my entire life, and I've been I've been singing my whole life, and it was in L.A. Mm -hmm. It was at the Belmont on La Cienega. It was the only time I ever did karaoke in my <laughs> life. I've never told this story before. Okay. And uh, it was "Addicted to Love" by Robert Palmer. I was, as you do. Good one. And you're going as my to as my karaoke. only my That's only karaoke. A pretty good one. That is a. How many did you have to have before you? I wasn't drinking at the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it took a lot of courage. It's like to me, that's like I can, you know, we play. We we they were just in Europe. We did. We were doing festivals. Hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand people. Fine. Mm -hmm. No nerves. Right. Karaoke. Like sweating. Like I can't I do it. So you were not. You were, in, you were not in your own. But yeah. That's, private that, room? that maybe that would be my actually my uh, uh, octagon to boxing ring thing is karaoke. Is karaoke. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest in front of that. ten people. Scares, Pick a city. Yeah, ten, matters. Ten, ten drunk people who have no idea who I am <laughs> scares me to death. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Is that how you got your start? Where they come up to you and say, "You've got some talent, kid." Yeah, that, that that's what it felt like anyway. <laughs> so sure. my my other two, my other two, my number four is when because I I don't want to just be a one note. guy. No, no, yeah, you can't just right? do Sinatra. So I do Brandy, You're a Fine Girl by Looking Glass. Okay. Tell me, do you know what I that know is? that is? Yeah. Okay, you're looking. That you know is. What, do you know Brent? Do you know what that I is? I don't. That is extremely obscure oh. for a karaoke. Can we play some of that. Mike? Do you have that? Can we? Is that on the list? Yeah, that is obscure by Looking Glass. Brandy. Yeah. You're what? Fine girl. Where, what what karaoke bar do you go to that has that song? All of them. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, dude. No. Yes. Really? Yes. All of them. Yeah. That's like that's like doing like Rosanna. But it goes. This is it. Yeah. Have you never heard this, Brent? I think you've heard this. There's a horse on a western bay. I have heard this, yeah, but I didn't know who it was. It, yeah. yeah, it's one of them songs. What year was that? Oh, gosh, 1970-something or other. And then the fifth one is it depends on how hammered I am, to be very honest with you. What's your poison? My, well, geez, I don't, well, I have to be really hammered to do poison. Got it. Um, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Win big, mama's fallen angel. Go. <laughs> no. Oh man. My wife just hates that I share this, let alone do it. But if I'm really, really hammered. If you're having a good night. I will sing I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. That's great. <laughs> come on. Come on. To, come on. Come on. Where are we going tonight? Uh, we're going to the gaslight <laughs> on uh, Wilson. This is all we have to uh, in Santa Monica. My schedule today says the Rich Eisen show, nothing else afterwards. So <laughs> that I'm bar's good. open. Uh, By the way, and I just right blanked, now, so we I just go. blanked on the lyrics of Brandy. I just botched <laughs> the first three lines, so I'm off. But Yachty by nature. I'm with will you, not Rich. Happen. I used to do like a prayer forever. That's Ma that's Madonna. a good one too, though. Yeah, yeah, but that's there's a okay. I'm just saying a song by a female. Artist. I know, right? But when I'm not hammered, any James Taylor, I like James Taylor. Yeah, I'm a big James Taylor. I can nice. go. I'm a huge. James do you respect Taylor fan. this, Brent? I mean, you're you're hundred percent. Yeah, you do. Sweet baby James, man. Okay, yeah. I'm a I'm a huge James. What's your James Taylor song? Uh, like? Carolina on my mind. Great song. Well, Copper Line, anything like that? No? Um, no. All right. No, no. That's basically it. All right, just just Carolina on my mind. <laughs> that's fine. I don't. I'm not saying I'm. I've got a broad. Yeah. Uh, I will say this. As as you're a, a crooner. You do I, realize you are. That. You are. You're, a crooner. An, you're an off. You are authentic. You are a crooner. I'm a crooner. Yep. As a I James Taylor. Croon. As a James Taylor fan, though, yes. I don't. I don't see many James Taylor songs as like. Out at a bar, fun things to sing. <laughs> like that really brings the mood down. Like there's somebody at the bar going, "Is this guy really singing James Taylor?" Right now? <laughs> this guy's yes. had a bad day. Yes. He's at the video poker machine, just contemplating yeah. all things that yeah. are life. Yeah. And you're singing Carolina on my mind. Yeah. It's not the cocktail doesn't break out. Basically, what you're saying. <laughs> Correct. This uh, is my favorite conversation I've ever had on television. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. All it's right. fun. It's loose. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.